hey guys welcome and welcome back to the video so in today's video i'm gonna show you how i made this timeline animation that maybe you often see this on fox or maybe johnny harris video so today i'm gonna try to make my version of it in CapCut. and please watch this video till the end so you don't miss any detail so for the asset that you need to prepare here are this map that i'm gonna use for the background i get this map on a snazzy map which i talk on how to make this in a couple of my video you can check one of the here and for the style of this map i use the assassin creed style i put the link in the description if you want to use it so basically here i just added a grunge texture to the map so it's just a simple edit nothing much and then i'm gonna use this a photo building timeline for the topic example and one thing that you have to know here please don't take any information in the clip that i'm gonna make seriously because i didn't do research at all as you know that it is just an editing tutorial video so please just focus on the tutorial and the last one is this black and white solid color you can download all of this asset for free by subscribing to my patreon the link in the description and now it's time to open CapCut. but before we start make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any new tutorial from this channel so first of all let's import the asset that we need and now I'm gonna import this white background to the timeline and then let's expand it to 10 seconds after that go to mass and then select rectangle and then reshape it into a line the thickness is depending on your need for example I'm gonna set it like this and then go to the basic again after that you have to compound the layer after you compound it go to mesh again and select horizontal rotate it to minus 90 degree and then position it here until the line is disappear now add the keyframe on the mesh and then move forward maybe like two seconds and then drag the mesh line until it fully appear so it's gonna look like this and you have to compound it again now press V to disable the layer and now I'm gonna drag this white solid background again and then go to mesh select circle and you have to resize it depending on your need go to the basic again and I'm gonna expand it to 10 seconds and then I'm gonna add a pop-up animation to the circle for the appearance so first add the keyframe on the transform and then change the scale to 1% and then move forward 5 frames now change the scale to 110 and then move another 5 frames and change the scale to 100% so it's gonna look like this after that just compound the layer now let's position it like this and after that I'm gonna add the text layer here and then let's position it down here and for example let's type maybe 1991 and then I'm gonna add the animation to the text for example like showing up and set the duration to one second then I'm gonna add the picture for example here I'm using the Eiffel Tower building progress and then I'm gonna take this one first so just go to the mess and then choose rectangle and then I'm gonna position it here and just add an animation like maybe slide down and then set the duration to one second and so it's gonna look like this after that you just have to select these three layers and compound it let's re-enable the first layer now you just have to position it anywhere you want I'm gonna position it like this let's put it into the center and 
here and for the timing so I'm gonna make this picture and the circle appear when the line reach to the center of the frames so let's see and then just drag the layer here so it's gonna look like this maybe it's too slow let's drag it here yeah I think this one is good and then to add another point here you have to make out animation first for this point like for example maybe I'm gonna make it in three seconds just add the keyframe on the transform and then move forward like maybe two seconds or three seconds and then add the keyframe again and now you just have to slide it out now to make another point you don't have to make it from zero again just duplicate the layer and then position it right here so it's gonna look like this and now you just have to edit the content in this point by double clicking on the compound clip and now you can edit the content of it for example let's change the year to maybe like 1992 and now I'm gonna change the picture to another progress of the building let's go to the mess and then slide it here and go to the basic again and I'm gonna position it here so it's gonna look like this now as you can see and if you want to make another point you just have to repeat the same steps I'm gonna make another point here again let's duplicate it and position it here and then I'm gonna add the background and just position the layer to the bottom so basically the function of this background layer is to make the illusion so the camera is kinda looks like moving but first I'm gonna make the background a little bit more darker to contrast with the white color here so I'm gonna drag this black solid color and then position it above the background layer and then decrease the opacity to maybe like 50 and then I'm gonna add an adjustment layer here then just adjust the vignette to maybe 23 and now what I'm gonna do is to make a movement to the background according to the movement of the line so both the line and the background has to move at the same time so first the line is start appearing from the first frame so I'm gonna add the keyframe on the first frame as well on the background layer and then move the playhead forward until the line stop and then add the keyframe again now all you have to do is to reposition the background to wherever you want as long as moving to the left so it's gonna look like this as you can see so it feels like the camera is moving and then for the next movement you just have to follow the keyframe on these layers because it's sliding out to the left so for example here let's position the playhead to this keyframe and then add the keyframe again on the transform and then move forward to the second keyframe when it start moving and you just have to slide it again to the left and it will automatically add the keyframe on the layer and now you just have to repeat the step and now for the final touch I think I'm gonna add the blur effect to the background to maybe like 12% is enough and then if you want to make the movement of this animation smoother you can just change the keyframe characteristic 
by pressing Alt and K and then uh, as you can see on the background it is moving on the x-axis so you just have to change the characteristics on the x-axis as well like for example here right click on this keyframe and then go to grab and change the keyframe to ease and then you just have to apply this to which movement that you want to make it smoother and here I also gonna apply all of this easing keyframe on all of this layer And so it's gonna look like this as you can see here that the movement is way smoother than before and that's it thank you guys for watching and also thanks to my patron for supporting this channel leave a like if this video helped you and here's the final result the 324 meter 1063 foot iron structure was initially met with criticism from artists and intellectuals who called it an eyesore